Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Gale. I'm the artist rep for the Face Paint Forum shop. And today I'm going to show you my rainbow unicorn design. It's, I find this really popular for faces, arms, shoulders. Um, so let's get started. So I've got a finger dobber in some superstar line white. And I'm just going to press down to make a circle for the cheek area of the unicorn. And then a slightly smaller circle across the front for the muzzle. And this just helps you get the right shape to start with. Sometimes um, if I do it with a paintbrush, I end up sort of wildly making the head like way too big and it just looks wrong. So I find this really helps me. So then I've got a filbert brush and just connect the two shapes together. Make, you want to make the, the nose part sort of a little bit square. And then I come down, just drag the brush down to a point for the neck area. Don't worry too much because you're going to cover this up a bit with some main and then I just do a little ear that it should be pointing forward and you can go back over with a finger dobber uh, just to blend the brush and the area that you've done with the sponge together and then if you're doing a unicorn they usually girls especially usually want a, un a rainbow with their unicorn so I've got some uh, craze fx candy land this is uh, one stroke and I just do a swirl across the top and then you can also use it while you've got it loaded to make the horn of the unicorn and it looks quite cool in a rainbow. And so to create the forelock and the mane on your unicorn I'm using a half inch angle brush and a one stroke from Tag called Iris because um, there's no purple in the uh, rainbow it's quite nice to use some different colours um, and then just press down and pull round for the mane and I do that all the way down it's just I find it quicker to do the mane like this and it it, it just keeps it neat and then to create some sparkles on your rainbow I'm using a BAM stencil 1015 is the number and a, DF, a DFX white with a finger dobber make sure that the paint's quite dry and tacky then you won't get any bleeding underneath the stencil. And then I put one at the bottom. And if you're painting on the shoulder and you've got a wider area, you can put more stars in just to fill some gaps in. Now I've got some DFX uh, black and my favourite number two brush, Lone Cornell number two. I'm just going to go ahead and outline everything. You want to make sure that you're doing thick to thin strokes. So you start on the tip of your brush, really, so you get the th the start as thin, and then push down, and then pull up as you're coming towards the end of your stroke. So when I'm doing the main, so start on the tip, push down, and on this one, I'm going to curl round, right round at the bottom. And it just finishes the main off nicely at the bottom. And then for the horn, I usually find it easier to do strokes across all the way down and then a straight line at the back. And just outline the neck. And then the rest of the face. Sorry, my hand's covered at this bit here, but you can see where I've made a little gap in the middle of the nose bit for its for his mouth. And you want to do a little a little nostril. And then to do the eye, if you're if you've got loads of time, you could do a much more elaborate eye, but if you if you want to do it quick, I find just doing like a sort of almost like a sleepy eye, and it looks quite cute. And then you can do some little eyelashes on there as well. And just go in and add some more 
details on the mains. You can leave this off if you want to make it quicker. And then this, again, you could leave this off if you wanted to make it quicker. I quite like outlining things in white. Makes them stand out a bit more. So this is DFX white and a number two airbrush again. Also, it helps to cover up where you've gone over, where you haven't quite got your black line right, line work right. So it hides a load. And then because we're only painting the unicorn's head, um, just to tidy up the bottom bit where the neck comes down, just going to put some long teardrops down and some swirls just to finish off the design at the bottom. And then you can put some swirls at the top as well. And they just help to connect the rainbow part to the unicorn part of the design. You can do them any any how you like, don't have to be exactly like this. You can if it's a boy's unicorn, you could do like tribal patterns, you know, from the bottom and the top of the rainbow, that would look really nice as well. And then I've got uh, my number two brush again with some pastel blue, which is a superstar colour. Uh, just doing the eye and all around, the, uh, just around the edge where, I don't know if it's like, it's probably not shadows, it's just, it adds a bit of interest to the white bit. I've seen other people do it and I just think, oh, it looks really cool, so. I don't really know why, but I just quite like doing it. <laughs> and then add it to the neck, down the neck as well. Then I've got some uh, glitter gel, and it's just got clear glitter on it. And just add that all around the bottom and over the rainbow. And if you're painting this on another person, um, definitely use a brush for the glitter. But this is my own arm, so hey. <laughs> and that's me finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed the design and you can use it on the job. Let me know in the comments if you manage to. Um, and don't forget to visit Face Paint Forum Shop for all these supplies and more tutorials. Thank you.